you got those big thighs. <laughs> Not much change. Closed and locked. Do you think I can fly this thing? <laughs> Better uh, find out. Rock and roll time. Let's do it. Okay. Hey guys, it's Wayne from Sling Pilot Academy. This week, one of our CFIs, Christian and Jean, who you all know, are going to take you through our run-up and pre-takeoff checklists in the Sling Next Generation Trainer, the Sling NGT. Enjoy. Next one is the run-up. And then we'll go visit the sky. <laughs> okay, well, we're still going to do some, some sunlight. So first thing, face in the wind if possible. We look at the windsock, we can verify that we are facing the wind, that's good. Free cooling on the engine, brakes set and held. Yep. Pilot briefing, uh, we'll do an abbreviated briefing, but yeah. If we're you give me a runway, briefing. If we're out on the runway, any engine abnormalities whatsoever, we'll power idle, exit the runway. If we've taken off, we have runway remaining, we'll land back on the runway. We've got none left. If we're still in the perimeter of the airport, we'll try and land on the grass. If we're below 600, we're straight out. We can't land in the airport anymore, we don't want to turn. We'll uh, find the best place to land. If we're above 600 feet, we'll do a left turn for 1-1 one, one right, open space in the field here, lands good on grass. And if we're in a right turn already, we'll continue that right turn back for this big runway, 1-1 one, one left, turn on right. Okay, so that's uh, an amended pilot briefing, so it'd be a little bit more in depth if we were going to yes. do that, as a, if we were going to go on cross country or something. Right, okay, good. So, controls check, box check. Box check. Yep, yep, yep. You've got those big thighs. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll stop in the American cheeseburgers. Fuel selector on the high tank. Okay, so now we go to the full tank. So we taxied on this lower tank, yep. and we know the engine didn't turn off, so we know it works from that source. So now we switch it to your wing, and now we're going to check that source. Very good. Engine, 4,000 RPM. Right, so brakes are locked. We're ready to do that. Nice and easy. Look outside around 3,500, see if we're not moving. Good. Okay, we're not moving. Good. So we'll do lane AR first. Yep. Okay, so now we're looking for our engine page here, looking for failures, engine ECU annunciation. Let's say we've had a failure. Engine didn't stop though. Check and make sure the engines are running. So lane A back on. So now we wait for the light to extinguish and we've got the eco mode back on, that's good. So lane B off. Not much change. Another annunciation there. Yep. Two more failures, three more failures. Okay, it's stable, didn't turn off. So we're checking the engine still works, it's good. Back, Back on. on. Good, so the failures went away. Annunciation's gone and we're looking for the light. Light's gone, we look over here, make sure eco mode's back, that's good. Good. Okay, so now we've done the lanes, so now we'll do the fuel pumps. Right, we'll do so the first rear bucket, now we'll do the second rear bucket. Boom. Good. Main off. Off. And you can see if the PSI remains at constant pressure. Yep. Then the green, Looking that's good. good. Engine didn't stop. No. Back on. Boom. Back on. Be good. Excellent, now AUX back off. Well, we'll turn off. it back on when we do our before takeoff checklist. Okay. Now, now we're going to check the engine idle, so take slowly back the throttle, please. Good. Good. All good. Idle. Now we'll go throttle 2000 RPM. Good. Excellent. Now I'll check all the brakes on my side. I physically touch them all, make sure they're all in. Good. Got good. three little jobbies up here as well, so they're all in. So brakes are checked. Engine instruments in the green. All in the green. Good. In the green. And the green, and of course, we know with the beautiful instrumentation we have in the sling, if anything was out of green, we'd get a warning if it is in the yeah, yellow and then red, right? Yeah, I usually tell if you want to do like a full check, I just go through and for peace of mind, up here is good, oil pressure is good. Yes. 46, it's not too low, not too high, it's still in the green, all temperatures are okay. Zero amps makes sense, we're using as much as it's generating. Yes, 13 volts is in range to power all this equipment. Fuel pressure, we check that with the pumps, so that's verified good. If we increase the throttle here, we'll probably see an increase in gallons per hour. That makes sense. On the left tank, which is the full tank, let's just verify that one more time. EGTs are level and exhaust gas temperatures, each cylinder. And then the coolant temperature of the cooling of the engine. Okay, so engine instruments green, our timber to verify, so we have 2979er. That's yep. incorrect, that's what we had, what we wrote down. If we haven't checked on the taxi, or on a little angle, we can see the little angle here. We can verify the uh, magnet here is uh, magnetometers looking somewhat similar, 316, yep. 316 on the standby. We can check our wet compass too to make sure that makes sense. Yep. Looks like it all makes sense. Next one, uh, after you flying instruments is navigation. So you can uh, you can set your heading bugs and altitude bugs. Okay. And this is the time that we would set up, like if you're on a cross country, you could go in here and put a flight plan in and figure out where you're gonna go after you got a clearance or a flight following. So you do all your navigation. So if you're doing traffic pad 1100 and you got the heading bug, that's good. Uh, and then before takeoffs, this is it. Well, our last check before we go. Transponder. Transponder oh. set. 
Trim neutral. Trim neutral check. Um, let's move it a little bit. Let's put it there. Uh, fuel pumps both on, please. Well, flash position one, verify. At position one. And seat belts, I got mine, you got yours. Yep. Canopy. Canopy closed and locked. Lights. What lights do we need? We can do landing lights. Yep. Landing lights, and it's about to be civil twilight, so we can check on the cheeky nav light there, too. Boom. Very good. And we've got us driver. Alright, so that's all good. Runway alignment will verify when we're out there and stop watching for instrument. And that's it, we're ready to roll. Excellent, should we roll? Let's do it. Yep. Good. You think I can fly this thing? <laughs> we to uh, find out. Okay, um, Torrance, Tower, good evening. Uh, 8640 Lima is holding short runway 29 right for a. Uh, it's remaining in the pattern, we just do, like to do a long straight out climb initially. 640 Lima. 640 Lima, right close traffic approved runway 29 and right clear take off. Clear for take off, right close traffic approved, thanks. 8640 Lima. Rock and roll time. Let's do it. Okay. Airspeed. Alive. Alive. Engine in the green. Three. Nothing saying stop. And 55, rotate. Good. Bring it airborne. And we are climbing at 72. Perfect. Uh, so don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. It really helps us with our channel. We really appreciate it.